now evidence of the role that a healthy gut plays in overall human health, both physical and even mental, is growing every day. To strengthen gut health, food researchers are trying to incorporate live bacteria called probiotics into all kinds of products, even beer. VOA's Kevin Enox reports. Beer can be traced back in time nearly 4,000 years to a Sumerian rock tablet recipe. It's still really popular, but it is also alcoholic and not particularly good for you. That, however, may be changing. Beer is, firstly, it's a challenging environment, so if you are able to incorporate probiotics, it will be a big breakthrough. And also because beer is something that is a beverage that will never die, it's frequently drink at social events. events. So... In a way, there's huge market potential as well. Researchers in Singapore have been working for some time to keep gut bacteria, called probiotics, alive in beer. The problem is that beer and probiotics don't tend to get along very well. Hops is the main ingredient that kills probiotics, so we have to find a way in order to allow the probiotics to overcome the hops. So this process actually is quite tedious. But they've done it, and here's the proof beer packed with gut bacteria that can improve your intestinal health and strengthen the immune system. So the taste of the beer, it's a sour beer, so it will taste sour because of the probiotics that produce lactic acid. But at the same time, besides sour, it also has um, hints of fruitiness. And the alcohol content is around 3.5%, around the same percentage as other commercial sour beers. Look at the bubbling. This is all natural. I didn't put anything else besides uh, fruits and all that. Melissa Mack sells kombucha, a fermented mixture of tea and yeast that also claims to have health benefits. Mack says she's willing to give a probiotic beer a try. So on one hand, you're thinking, beer, that doesn't sound like a good thing at all, but yet, you know, you're adding stuff like uh, good uh, bacteria and yeast that's uh, relevant, like uh, lactobacillus, which is uh, something that makes it a bit more sour. So you're thinking, okay, is this healthy or is this not healthy? No one knows for sure. The researchers are currently in talks with beer companies that might be willing to mass produce and market the beverage. Kevin Enix. VOA News.